Hello! It's that time again! No, no. Not that time. This time! Thread time! Yes! Um, I'll be doing the vlog um, in a little bit. But uh, yeah. So, threads, uh, for those of you who may be new to these parts or to this box, is from Zavi. Um, it's by, threads by Zedbox from Zavi. Um, I was buying their Z boxes, goodie boxes for a while, but then they, I don't know, the quality kind of fell, and I wasn't getting the work so much anymore. And I found other boxes I liked more, so I stopped doing those before I started doing these. Um, but threads I've been doing since issue one, and basically, for those of you who may not be aware, is a book, book that is either been, and I've have had novels, you know, in paperback. Um, reference books, graphic novels in hard and softback. Um, yeah, so pretty much if it's bookish, then yeah. So I've had like DK reference books, I've had novels, and I've had graphic uh, graphic novels. And so you get a book, and you get a t-shirt. And this is ten pounds. So basically, if you average out t-shirts to be about ten to fifteen pounds, depending on where you're buying them, you're getting a free book. It's it's awesome value. So um, it's also got a really good seal on it, so if you'll just bear with for a moment while I get my uh, very, very sharp knife. A little grubby too, but very sharp. And we count away from us. We get back into the... Uh, where it go? Well, see it's so sharp it was cutting into the cardboard, not the um, through the tape. There we go. Well, I need to secure my knife. Don't leave sharp, pointy things lying around. There we go, all nice and secure again. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, what have we got? We have big air cushion bubble top. Ready? Oh, that was a good one. Um, I'm seeing Japanese style characters on the t-shirt, so let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, I don't recognise it offhand. Um, huh. This may be one of those ones that is quite a funky design, not one I recognise immediately, but it's kind of funky design, but, but I might not wear it simply on the principle. Originally I thought maybe it was like a light gun design. I mean that looks like a shield logo or something similar but I don't know what these characters mean and then yeah it is basically kind of a blueprint for a, a gun. I don't know if it's from a movie. I mean I know the new version of um, Blade Runner's out and I haven't seen that yet so I don't know if that's to do with that. I mean maybe that's like a stun gun. You know, like, um, Entark in, um, Stargate, you know, the, the jewels on them. But, uh, yeah, as someone who's not particularly into guns, I don't know. I mean, yes, design-wise it is interesting, it's quite intricate. I I think I'd like to know more about it before I decide whether or not I'm going to wear it. Um, but as a design, I can't fault it. Um, but is it a design for me? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, originally I thought maybe it was a light gun or something. And I thought, well, I've got um, a t-shirt that's got like old school um, Nintendo controllers. You know, maybe it was, this was a t-shirt with like old school light gun controllers. And I thought, well, that would be okay. Because, you know, I don't mind playing a few rail shooters or something. But uh, it's nice. I just don't know if it's necessary for me. But, we do have a graphic novel. Um, oh, it's heavy. Oh, hang on. No, no. Oh, okay. So, this is not a graphic novel. I'm, I don't know if this is a one-shot or not. Um, is it a one-shot? Uh, end of part one. Yes, it's not. A... See, this is the only thing I don't like, is when you get um, one-shot, one-part comics, 
because you don't know if you're ever going to get part two or if you have to track it down or anything like this but this is fighting american and it's not anyone i know about uh fighting american number one comic z box um i'm trying to find who the publisher is titan okay issue one fighting american oh okay joe simon jack kirby i think thinking about it i get a lot of humble bundle um stuff here we go there's a couple of panels um so it's quite it's very well drawn i mean it's jack kirby um very bright looks interesting i get a lot of humble bundle bundles um, I get the tend to go for the books and the graphic novels. So I have a feeling in one of my Titan bundles I may already have some Fighting American. So, you know, maybe now maybe this is a hard copy of something I've already got on digital. But it's nice. But this isn't actually the main attraction. This is the main attraction. Um, a nice Fantastic Four graphic novel. Um Huh, no Oh, Fantastic Four Ultimate Collection. The final volume of Mark Wade and Mike Waring Waringo. Him. Um, uh, the end of their blockbuster run. Fantastic Four have a lot to answer for after their authoritative actions and La um, Laveria. But when trying to regain the a cynical public's in cynical public's trust. In, but when trying to regain a cynical public's trust, is associating with a certain misunderstood wall crawler really wise? Then Manhattan is cut off from the rest of the world by a fleet of missile, a miles high alien sh spacecraft. See, this is why I need to practice reading out loud. <laughs> and that's just the beginning. New York reluctantly turns to the disenfranchised FF, the only heroes in town, to save them. But which member will make the decision that will radically change the team? Plus, Johnny Storm Galactus, um, worst herald ever. Oh, plus, Johnny Storm Galactus is worst herald ever. So far, the Human Torch has been able to stall Galactus from satiating his cosmic hunger. But that luck won't last for forever. What planet will be chosen by Galactus' next victim? And will Johnny ever be the same though he's tasted power cosmic? Uh, and it's collecting classic for from 1961 um, issues 514 to 524 so all right that's cool I have a feeling as I've said before I've got a big collection of Fantastic Four um, books and this one says it's book four um, so what I'm gonna have to do for my own thing is I'm going to compare these, whatever's in here, because I've got some early Fantastic Four and like um, a lot of other early comics. So hopefully this isn't clashing with some titles I've already got, but look at that picture, Galaxus. What wow, awesome that is. Um, I mean, it, it's beautiful, it's very glossy. Um, sorry, I realise I'm shouting. But then again, I'm not sure how much my mic, my little mic's picking up on this. I'm just trying to find if there's actually titles anywhere. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming these are one shots from the way they describe the individual stories. Uh, okay, yeah, so this has got like part, part one of three. Um, Stanley presents dysfunctional. So, for all I know, I've got like the previous parts of these various stories already. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, what's the purple one? That, that other page is a bit more purple on it um but yeah i mean it's it's a cool graphic novel i can't really go wrong with graphic novels especially marvel ones oh there you go i don't know what planet that is or if it is another planet but we've got a lot of pink on that one and then a lot of green on that one so i like the color contrast and i do like the artwork i appreciate the artwork that goes into these um so yeah all right this is cool um if <coughs> If it turns out that it is clashing with graphic stories that I've already got, that is not the fault of Zabby. That is just the fact that I already had that book. 
but this is still a nice addition um completely different look to the one I've already got so that's cool so we got the so we've got the big graphic novel we've got the uh the normal comic size um fighting american and then we've got the t-shirt which as I say it's a nice design it is a nice design I just I wish I knew more about it because I don't know if it's based on a movie or um, like I said given given this gift up here maybe but I don't know how to look up Japanese characters on Google so <clears throat> but yeah I mean it, it's a nice design it's just I'm not sure I want to go around wearing a gun on my chest um, but you know it's still a good quality t-shirt I'll, I'll work out what I'm going to do with it later I probably will end up wearing it but anyway maybe a nighty but anyway that's um yeah that's this month's threads unboxing we've got three items so that's nice that chances are that fighting american did it say um yeah it does just say zed box so what they have been doing is getting rid of a lot of old stock and some people aren't always keen on that because if they've been doing the other collector boxes for a while i supposed to do a few of them means they end up getting double items but i don't mind because i haven't been doing them that, that long and it's an extra item but put, to put an extra item in this box is good because it's already the box is already a bargain so yeah i can't find my bit of paper again ah well you know where i am um yeah so thank you for watching um i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing um <clears throat> if you know more about this t-shirt um then you know tell me i'd be i'd be fascinated to find out um but yeah thanks for, otherwise thanks for watching um if you like this like share subscribe and you know, talk to me and um in the meantime i've been michelle you've been listening and i will see you next time bye bye